essentially what we had going on here is this got this it got even worse. We're not going deals. You want to hear details? Watch my review. Watch Mortal Country. But the numbers are out already. I mean, it was no, that's not it. Wrong one. Um, we do need to get Dre's reaction to it. Yes, yes. Things. I'm. I, I had it and I lost it. Where did it go? Uh, that one. That one. There we go. There we go. So, at the beginning of the week, or right on Wednesday, as you know, other stuff was going down, we started to get this. Lord of the Rings Rings of Power Season 2 premiere viewership reportedly suffers seemingly 50% decline My from God. Season 1. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's worse than that sounds, Dre. So, yes, these were the Samba TV numbers, which is a small sample size. So, we just compare Samba to Samba right yeah. here. Yeah. And they did. No, no, but yeah, the, the screenshot absolutely did. Did it correctly comparing Samba to Samba. But I want you to look here, Dre, in the screenshot that they have. The okay. uh, Rings of Power Season 2 on Amazon Prime Video over its first five days did 902,000. First yeah. five days. That's an important number to remember. Five days. and Does this constitute oh all three episodes? Just or? the first episode. The premiere okay, episode. Just, which, okay, just the premiere episode. Okay. which they did exactly last time. They dropped three okay. episodes at once and nearly broke all of us. It was It was pretty <laughs> horrendous. But yeah, the, these numbers are specifically for episode one. They they say it in that screenshot there, but they do make a little bit of a change from season one to season two. Do you have that screenshot? Uh, yes, I do. Hang on, let me go back to it. I was trying to get the pictures. Uh, do, 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 do. Yes, here we go. Uh, you mean this one? <laughs> this uh, one? No, the other Samba TV one from. Oh no, I don't have that one. one. I. All right, I well, uh, season one, it had that screenshot from Samba, just like this one. It said, uh, what was it, 100 and, uh, 1. 1. 1.8 million? No, it was 1.8. It was 1.8? Okay, 1.8. Yeah, 8. I okay. think it was 1.8 million, but it said the first four days. For okay. season two, okay. they added a day for these metrics, and it was still half the viewership from oh, man. the season one, episode one premiere. So, and essentially, no one has returned to watch this show. Nope. Well, no one has returned from the only remaining 30% at the end of season one when they had it. Um, Good grief. Yeah. So, it yeah, if, oh, if we yes. just have a 70% drop from the beginning of season two to the end, like we saw with season one, we're going to be looking at some abysmal, non existent numbers. That's why I said I think they're going to drop off the Nielsen's because, yeah, season one lost 70%, and we're already down 50% from the premiere of season one with season two. So, 70% drop from half of season one. It was barely getting on the Nielsen's to begin with with season one. So there's Good no point. way they're going to be able to even get to reporting levels. We're not going to know the numbers beyond what Samba gives us, I think. They're just going to be so low for the most part. Yeah, I mean, that's why we said uh, you, you have to discount the premiere. Yeah. You have to discount the premiere because it's a – it's like Acolyte. It's an amalgamation. It's an, oh, no, sorry, aberration, not amalgamation. Um, aberration. Well, because well, just like this, they're changing the rules to make it look better. Mm -hmm. With this yeah, one, they're yeah. adding an extra day to help it make a look make it look a little bit better. With um, having three episodes come out at once, that makes it look much better in the Nielsen's. And these stands are going to clap that and say, "Look, it's the most successful show in the world because it had, I don't know, one million minutes watched or one billion." Minutes and that's watched. the thing; it's it's the minute millions minutes mm -hmm. watched bullshit metric that. They use to try and show something successful when that doesn't actually reveal viewers. No, it's just people turn it on. I mean, the Disney Star Wars stands have tried to use that to try and fluff up acolyte numbers, saying mm -hmm. just turn it on and leave it on, it'll help. Just watch it on repeat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's not, an, it, it, that's why love him or hate him, Nielsen is the most accurate for that because even though they've used million minutes views, it's still household and when it's just watched mm -hmm. at least traditionally traditionally not streaming but like traditional views it counts it as just a single watch of view so when they do that it's just it's retarded to have them try and tell you oh this is how it is so this is a disaster out of the gate for them a complete and total disaster and like jen and i were saying before the the kind of fake praise for it. Let me go back to the other uh, one I had on this. I'm, I got several different things on here. That's why this is that's why this is pathetic. When uh, Shillside Shillside Fellowship of the Fans comes out with this, 
Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power Season 2's first three-episode premiere becomes a prime video biggest opening weekend of the year. <laughs> not ever. They're that's, doing the trick that's not of the year. That's not something to be uh, proud of. <laughs> no, Especially with the boys starting to struggle. Yes, it still did pretty well for Season 4, but it is a major decline over the last few seasons because people are starting to realize how bad that show actually is. Season 1 was incredible, and then it's just jumped off a cliff ever since then. And I can agree with because that. Of it. Yeah, they're hurting because of it. So yeah, comparing it to the boys, yeah, that and, that might be okay for a normal <laughs> show, but for the boys, these numbers were bad. So that's a so when you're comparing it to like you said, a show that's on its ma massive decline that mm -hmm. doesn't have the the relevance or enthusiasm that it had years ago with season one. Saying that it and it just look at that, it just eked it out, just eked it out. And so this is probably the legitimate minutes that Nielsen will run with. So it's probably going to be um, somewhere in the top five because that's top five originals in, top, in yeah. the top ten. That's top five. But with what we saw yesterday or what we reviewed yesterday with episode four and the horrible, massive lore breaks, it's it's going to – it will probably drop to the lower five. And then when we get to whatever's going to go down this week – I, Jed, I think you might be right. I think it may completely fall off for the remaining mm -hmm. middle for the middle three episodes, and then like with Acolyte, it'll cling to the tenth or ninth spot with the finale because people show up for finales to watch the. Car yeah, it might it stuff. might come back into it, but yeah, yeah, just just looking at that number, seven hundred sixty four million minutes watched. The bottom numbers are usually in the two hundred three hundred million yeah. minutes watched. That's like nine. So 10 you break spot. it down by episode. You break it down by three, just divide that by three, which isn't going to be exact because, yeah, mm. people – not everyone finishes all three episodes. Mm. But still, you're you're looking at the bottom of the barrel, and they're proud of that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they don't – and that's, that's why this is a bullshit number because it's three episodes. But when you break it down, two to three hundred million, that's low bottom ten. And – when these things are getting destroyed by us, by everybody with a brain, there are still people who like it. If you like it, that's fine. But I question your taste, but yeah, but don't pretend. Just say you like it, but don't try to tell don't do an acolyte and tell us that uh people are grifting and yelling and pretending that it's horrible and reviewing. Mm -hmm. Don't do that. You can like it. Mm -hmm. Problem is, they're also trying to push um certain messaging that we're all racist and that's why it's never hates it they're, they're doing that and we'll, we'll get oh, to yeah. that when we, when we discuss the acolyte stuff today or the disney stand stuff more accurately we're all racist because we don't like certain things like this let me bring this down because dre um several things happened in this episode okay. now, unfortunately I, I i got rid of my copy so i didn't I, I didn't realize till i woke up this morning that i needed to have certain screenshots so uh i forgive me for my uh approximate for my bad versions but um dre i think you are familiar with black stereotypes in western entertainment of course of course so we are constantly accused these days of being racists because uh we make fun of these stereotypes when they come up but are we the racists or are they the racist when they literally decide to put out a fat, angry black woman oh boy. as the leader oh. of a Hobbit offshoot who literally <laughs> demeans everybody, calls them names, has wide, angry, crazy black lady eyes? Who's so the racist? Sass. The one, uh, yeah, you don't give her sass. They actually said that. Don't give her sass. You don't sass the mama. Yeah. Um, are we the racists or are they the ones who put it up there? Because we're just saying, look, there it is. You're the ones that did it. Why is Aunt Jemima on my screen? <laughs> <laughs> Explain yourselves. I don't, man. See, this is the, now, let me be clear. This is a mammy without question. <laughs> it is a mammy. This is mammy. a mammy. And Oh, I, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Okay, okay, what? Okay, so she's supposed to be a, a dwarf? No, no, no. She's a no, hobbit. A hobbit. Oh, a hobbit. This, okay, hobbit. Uh, hobbit. Okay, so so she's a hobbit that is dressed like Aunt Jemima, 
and serving <laughs> syrup like Mrs. Buttersworth and is related to Uncle Ben. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to assume Sorry. that she's not nice on him. No, no. no, she she uh, she 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 a bitch. Of course, of course. And of course, they gave her the slave naps because <laughs> why not? Uh, and let me guess, individuals of Anglo-Saxon descent have looked at this and said, hey, this might be racist, and are describing it as such, and then they're saying that the individuals of Anglo-Saxon descent are racist. Yeah, pretty much. Just making exactly sure that. we're all on the same page. Pretty much, pretty much, pretty much. Um, making now, sure. And look, my thing is, like, if you want to do a mammy, and you want to do Aunt Jemima, and you want to do Miss Buttersworth, okay, fine. But why? Why she gotta? Why she gotta be unpleasant? Well, she is unpleasant, Jed. Isn't she very unpleasant? Oh, entirely. So, like, is Rufio her kid or just some random guy in the village? I don't remember. No, oh, no, no, no. Wait, she, no, she, no, no, no. Oh, oh, I'm getting that. I'm, I'm bringing up. I have to bring up my review because that's the only place I can get uh, clean shots of some of these screenshots. Mm -hmm. Um, no, she, um, no, she, he's not her kid. But okay. she called. She's the one that she's the one that came up with the nobody stuff. It's her that. As the so of that. Right. yeah, th there's a, mean, a black. I'm kid. Bringing, I'm getting it right now. No, it's you just a, it no. He's a brown kid. He's a brown kid. He's brown. Get right. He, you, he, get he, your he, racism's right. He he looks like Rufio from Hook. That's why I I yeah. call him that. Hang on, I have to get through the. the That's uh, acceptable. I love. I'm getting through the ad. No, no, it's not acceptable. It's no, no Jade's description is acceptable. What he looks like is not acceptable. Oh. As, he's the dumbest motherfucker from yeah. any show that I have ever seen. Yeah, hang on. All right, so it, here it, we go. it's really bad. All right, here he's we an go. idiot. Let me, uh, all right, let me get rid of this one and let me bring it up right now. This is, uh, from my review from the other day. Uh, prepare yourself, Drake. Hold on to your chair. Hold on to your chair tight. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> look at them ears, bro. Oh, all of this is bad. The kid, yes. the kid, looks like he just had dynamite blowed up in his face. Adam looks like he's trying to push him away, like the Black Plague. Oh, this is all bad. Yeah, what happened? He Does right. he have polio? What he happened? Might. Are right, you ready for the straight? So they ask him what his name is, and he says, I'm nobody. And it turns out he believes that because the town elder, the, the uh, black lady we just saw on the screen, constantly says, nobody can be this stupid. And so he just thought that was his name because she keeps saying stuff like, nobody's this dumb. But his, uh, his actual name is Mary Mac. That's his what? name. He's in love with Poppy, you know, Mary yeah. and Pippin. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, goodness Mary gracious and me. Poppy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Rachel's come I... up with a theory that they're going to be the progenitors of uh, those <laughs> the actual Hobbit 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 race. Yeah, mm -hmm. I thought you were about to bring up something intelligent for a second when you brought this oh, poor no. wild child up here. <laughs> I thought I thought the nobody bit was going to be like the Odyssey, like if those oh, remember yeah, that, the Odyssey. That would have been yeah. good. Hey, that's intelligent. Uh, Odysseus uh -huh. was a badass. This, yeah, just I re thought that was about to get. This but you hard. give me semi-retarded, half Indian, half black, <laughs> half whatever else in here, Alaskan, whatever this poor child is. <laughs> I don't know what they've done. I don't know what they've done. This is this is. It, but it doesn't it's stop game. there. Let me see. Let me get to it on here. So let me find it. Um, so war shit aside, we're not going to go into the barrel downs on the stuff. There's a moment where let me show you them. Let me get a good shot of it here. Uh, there's a moment when Guy Ladriel and Femron, who wants to be Elrond, has their team. Where the hell is it? Oh, wait, I no. forgot. I, I do. No, no, I forgot. I broke everything down to different segments. I'm not going through the show. Sorry, hang on. I have to go back to where the actual shit happens. Um, so Elrond, Femrond and Guy Lachio bring their team together. And here they are. That That is the most diverse team you'll see. You got your ginger. <laughs> you got your red shirt twink. You got your Asian representation, and you got your you got another black elf with a tight fade, okay? Because they you all have quite, tight fades. Yeah, you can't quite. And see they all hold their in. weapons gangster style. Yeah, we that, yeah we realized that last night when they're going like this. When the idiot holds, yeah, like Aaron this, Deer like puts it to the side every time he shoots his bow. Gangster ah, holding. Gangster. Of course. So so you got this dumb son of a bitch right here who has two lines in the entire thing, and he's another eventually, black stereotype. 
and he's not black star, the, and it's even the worse big because daddy of stereotypes. Right here, you can't quite see it because, of course, the lighting on the show is terrible. Mm-hmm. It's not my, mm-hmm. it's not my fault. It's dark. It's just, it's just that bad. They're they get attacked by a bunch of undead things, and it's a horror show moment. Dre, the black guy dies first. Really? Or, yeah, they had the black guy die first. Nameless and, colored going down. And, and 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 crying out, help me, help me, as he gets dragged into a hole and you hear him get crunched. You yeah, you hear squishy hear noises. Crunched. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how, how are we the racists when they're the one that li- they're the ones that literally have the super team diversity and they literally kill the black guy first in the horror show moment? That's awesome. That's awesome because it it, it this is my this is my problem with oh I have a problem with a lot of this. If they didn't hypersensitize the world did not become hypersensitized to everything is my race, my diversity, who I'm scissoring, we wouldn't care. I wouldn't give two squirts of piss. But since they have created a culture in which we gotta elevate the darkies and the browns and the, the white man gots to go down, like that garbage, once you input that into everything now we can't help ourselves but to call you out on the the hypocrisy that you created if this was just if we were just still living our lives like normal and we just saw the black man go down like oh that's just a stereotype (laughs) haha it's the way it always goes but the fact of the matter is that they've built up this idea that all these colors must be elevated now you got you got you made your bed now lie in it and It's, it's, it's garbage. Nonsense. It is garbage. And it, it, it is worthless. It's pathetic. And it's not even, at least to us, it's not even entertaining. No, it's just, it's a, it's a sad representation of, like you said, propping up diversity for diversity's sake, but then relying on the old-fashioned uh, entertainment stereotypes that are memes at this point. And then when we point out what you're doing, then calling us racist and bigots. It's sad. It's stupid. And it, it it shows them for the clowns that they are, that these people are not to be taken seriously. They have no legitimacy in any of their arguments because they all continually rely on the same thing. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Check out my gaming channel at Renaissance Nerd Arcade and follow me on X Twitter under at the Red Nerd. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy.